For the community, they are very happy about the fair trade because you can see that the, the fair trade has improved their living standards, especially for the workers. Their standards have really changed, like mine now. And again, uh, their children are going to school. They can access the, the, the bursary. They get the bursary each year. You can see that all the employees, all the children for the employees are going to school. And again, the community is very happy because we have improved their schools, which, are, which is around because it is a need for the standards. So, and we also take the community uh, children, maybe who are notable, the needy ones and the bright ones, the fair trade money also is educating them. Nowadays things are ch has changed. In workplace now, in workplace, we used to think that a, a lady cannot even run, cannot even be an, a, a manager in that farm. A lady cannot say anything on front of, of a man, even in the house. But in Kenya nowadays things are totally different because they have come up with gender equality and that we normally say what a man can do, a woman can do and even do it better. Because we nowadays come out as leaders and we do much better than men. Give women opportunity, more opportunity for the work. That is for the gender equality. Let us, do, let us not discriminate this female. Let us, let us give them opportunity to work and train them more. I've been working so many years in the company. Maybe in the future, maybe I'll go for a retire. And after going for a retirement, I'll, I would like to start something small to continue supporting the gender because it is something which I really, uh, which I really like. And uh, maybe in the future, maybe God will help me and get some money and then maybe I can start something to do and maybe even a connection with the fair trade so that maybe I can sell my products through that line because I can see it's really making and changing our lives. Without fair trade, we really go through a very rough time. Some ladies were even harassed sexually. We were working beyond even the hours. But when the fair trade came in, things start changing. And that time, I continued working as a supervisor for the greenhouse. I was added more responsibilities. And then it reaches a time that we should work, uh, we should look for a team called Agenda Committee Team. I was among the workers who were elected, and then we, we, we start now going for further training. In my Agenda Committee, I have roughly about 23 to 26 members representing different units in the current process. The fair trade, has been bringing in the external trainings. I've been going for, for different trainings about the gender committee. And now I do train also my team on the work itself. And what I, what I can say, it's really good because it has helped us a lot. In the gender committee, we have a lot of responsibilities to do. First of all, we have to check on, on the discrimination. There should, no, there should be no discrimination at work. I have a son who have gone to, to university level and I also have the second, second born daughter who has gone to college. She has done the plant operators and this is because of the fair trade because the, I was given some bursary and again, uh, and again I'm given some little amount which they, I will pay some little and then they will pay the other ones. And again, it is helping me because if I get the bursary, for the school fees. And then I will get, I will get now, uh, my pay slip now will be much better so that I can do something else. Instead of paying the school fees, maybe I take the loan from our cooperative circle and then I invest that money by buying a land and building a house. And that's why, that's what I'm doing it now. But I can tell you my life has really changed and I can say even if you can remain a single mother and you are fair trade, you can educate your children. They can eat well and they can, they can dress well. Yeah, that's where I am now. <laughs>